Tasty Traveling Tales, a program where we journey around the world visiting different continents, read a story, and make a special treat. Today we are visiting the continent of Asia, and our story is about all the different animals in the Chinese zodiac. And this story is called The Great Race by Christopher Kaur. So we're going to meet the 12 animals of the Chinese zodiac. The Great Race. Long ago, in very ancient China, there were no years or days or hours. The sun rose and fell without any, anyone knowing how much time had passed, as there was no way of telling. One day, the Jade Emperor realized that he did not know how old he was. We must have a way of measuring time, he thought. So he gathered all the animals in the kingdom together and said, tomorrow there will be a great race. The first 12 animals to cross the river will each have a year named after them. All the animals wanted to win this wonderful prize. So let's see what animals we have. Among the animals were a cat and a rat who were great friends. Let's win this race together said the cat. Make sure you wake me up, he added, for he often slept all day. In the morning, the rat pushed, tickled, and shouted, but it was impossible to wake the cat. So he crept out of the house and headed for the river. On his way, the rat met an ox. Are you joining the race, rat? asked the ox. Right on my back, and I will carry you across. I will sing to you to say thanks, said the rat, and he climbed aboard. The great race had begun. The big ox swam gracefully across the big river, serenaded by his new friend. But as soon as the rat saw land, he leapt from the ox and fell at the feet of the emperor. Congratulations, clever rat, said the emperor. The first year will be named after you and the second year, kind ox, will belong to you. Ooh, now we have a tiger. Next came the tiger, whose beautiful striped coat became very heavy with river water. But the, the tiger struggled on to reach the shore. Welcome, strong tiger, said the emperor. The third year will be named after you. I wonder what animal we have next. It's a rabbit. The rabbit really didn't like water. He noticed some rocks in the river and decided to hop across to keep his paws dry until a log floated by. He jumped on and a strong breeze blew him ashore. The fourth year is named after the lucky rabbit, said the emperor. And our next animal is dragon. A magnificent dragon was the fifth, fifth to cross the river. What kept you? asked the emperor. The land and the people were thirsty, so I had to make rain for them, explained the dragon. And then I noticed a rabbit trying to cross the river, and I blew a log in his direction and guided him to shore. Well, warm-hearted dragon, said the emperor, the fifth year will belong to you. Our next animal is a horse. Next, a galloping horse making waves and splashes appeared on the shore. But just as he was shaking the water from his long mane, a snake slithered from his leg. The horse jumped back in fright, and the crafty snake claimed sixth place. And you, fine horse, have the seventh year, said the emperor. I wonder what animals we have next. Oop, we have a group of this, them this time. A goat, a monkey, and a rooster decided to work together to win a place. The rooster found a wooden raft. The goat chewed weeds and grasses and cleared a path for the raft to sail. And the monkey found a long branch, which he used to steer and push them to the other side. So they're working together very well. 
The emperor was delighted to see their fine teamwork. The eighth year will be the goats, the ninth year, monkeys, and the tenth, roosters, he said. Two more animals to go. Oh, we have a dog. A dog arrived to claim 11th place. He was a strong swimmer and could have arrived earlier, but he was too busy chasing sticks and splashing in the water. The 11th year will belong to the playful dog, called the emperor. And what do you think the last animal is? Oh, it's a pig. As the moon was rising in the evening sky, the emperor heard a loud squealing and screeching. It was a large pig who finally emerged from the river. I'm so sorry I'm late, Emperor, but I found some delicious apples by the riverbank, and then I found a pool of mud, and then I fell asleep. Be that as it may, said the Emperor, the twelfth and final year will be the year of the pig. So there was all of our animals. The great race is over, said the Emperor. Let us celebrate. But just then, there came a terrible howling from the reeds. It was the cat. Remember the cat from the beginning? Looking wet and bedraggled and very, very cross. He saw the rat sitting with the emperor and shouted, You were supposed to wake me, you rat. I will never forgive you. The cat was so angry that the, red, the rat fled for his life. And through the first 12 years that passed, and the 12 years after that, and all the many years leading up to this day, rats have always fled from cats. <laughs> the end. Well, thank you for listening to the story. Do you have a favorite animal from the story? I think my favorite was the rat because he was so clever. So now we're going to go make a treat. So let's go meet Cindy in the kitchen. Hi there. Here we are back in the kitchen at the library. We met up with Cindy. Hi. <laughs> now our tale today that we read was from the continent of Asia. And that's actually the biggest continent we have. Huge. Yeah. And our treat we're going to make today is from that area, and it's enjoyed there and all over the world. We are going to make fresh spring rolls today. I'm so excited because yeah. you can put anything you want into a fresh spring roll. Yeah, and mm -hmm. they'll be really fun to make together. You can kind of make this with a friend. So our ingredients for our, our fresh spring rolls are kind of some special ingredients, actually. Um, you need something called rice paper, which looks like this. You also need rice noodles, and we got rice vermicelli noodles. We and cooked I, them earlier. Yes, yep. so normally All they're cooked. dried. <laughs> and we got both of these ingredients from our Asian market here in town. And then for the things to put inside of our yummy fresh spring rolls, we have lettuce. This is butter lettuce, but you could really use any lettuce you want. Any kind. And then we have some herbs here. We have chives. Mint. And what's that last one, Sin? My very favorite, cilantro, cilantro in everything. And then we have some protein we're going to put in here. We have some shrimp we're going to do along with our noodles. Okay, so we need to start by getting this spring roll put together. But if you see with this rice paper, it's kind of like real paper. Looks like plastic. It's not something that we can roll up yet, so we need to get it wet. So Cindy's putting some warm water here. And we're going to dip our rice paper in our warm water for about five to ten seconds. It's not that long. You just want to make sure you get it all wet so you can kind of push it down. Mm -hmm. Do you do both sides? Yes. Oh, okay. Because you'll see it kind of curls up if you mm. don't. And even though it seems like it's still a little stiff, the five to ten seconds in there will be enough because it'll continue to soften up after we take it out. I'm going to take your plate out Thank of your way. You. All right, so now that we have our rice paper wet, we are going to start putting our ingredients in. So we've got some lettuce I'm going to put in towards the bottom of the rice paper here. I'm going to put in my lettuce. And then I'm going to put in some chives. Just a few pieces of those. And some mint. Yum. You can smell it, too. Yeah, it's, it's very, very, very fragrant. Very yummy. And then some cilantro. You want to pop yeah. that in? <laughs> she really likes cilantro. I, I do, do too. 
<laughs> so I'm gonna put a whole bunch in there. Nice. And then we're gonna add our noodles and our shrimp. So the right. noodles go right on top of the veggies. Should we use it all? Just about? Yeah. Yeah. That looks good. We kind of wanna. Ooh, this is gonna be a roll. fat spring roll. <laughs> and then the shrimp goes not on top of the noodles, but it goes right in front of, kind of down the middle of your rice paper. We're gonna line those up. Do I need one more? Yes. One more. That one's not very curly. All mm -hmm. right. So now that we've got our things in there, we're gonna start rolling. So you pick up the edge and you want to try to make it nice and tight. So I'm folding over all my noodles, but not the shrimp yet. Kind of tucking everything in. This is why having something having somebody with you is kind of makes it more fun. Yep. And then I'm kind of pushing, keeping the it shrimp tight. down there so we can hopefully see it on top and it'll look really pretty. And then we're gonna fold in our sides and we put oh, lots we a lot of, noodles of noodles in, in this one. <laughs> Putting this to shame. And then we fold it over and then we tuck our sides in. And the rice paper is kind of sticky, so it all just sticks yeah, where you want to put it. Yeah, remember how it was still kind of stiff? Now look how flexible it is. Isn't yeah. that nice? So we have our roll all ready to go here. And you can actually wrap this up in some saran wrap while you're waiting because it is very sticky. So it might stick the things. Because we're going to make our sauce now, so we're going to put this to the side and then we'll show you what they look like together and we'll make our sauce next. So now that we have our fresh spring rolls made, I made Yum. two more here, we are going to make a dipping sauce for it. So to start our dipping sauce, we have a little bit of olive oil, which I've already poured in because I want to heat it up a little bit. And then we're going to cook some garlic in that mm. oil. And then we're going to add hoisin sauce, peanut butter, and a little chili paste. If you, you like can it do spicy. That. Yeah, you can do that to taste. <laughs> if you don't like any spice, you can leave it out. I do. Yeah, she's <laughs> a hot one. All right, so I'm going to add my garlic. Ooh, it's sizzling a little bit. Yeah. That's good. You always want to heat up your oil first before you put your garlic in. Otherwise, the oil soaks into the garlic, and that's not good. And garlic cooks really quickly. It does. Yeah, so you just want to cook it until you can smell it pretty much. You smell it already? I think I can. Holy cow. <laughs> so we're going to put the hoisin sauce in first. Will you hold that mm -hmm. for me? I'm going to spatula this in. And hoisin sauce is this yummy brown sauce. We very got that at the rich. Asian market too. It's very rich. Yeah. Peanut, peanut butter. butter. There it is. This is kind of like a peanut sauce. Really tasty. It is. And then I'll put the chili right in there too. She put all of it in for I me. I did. So it'll be nice and hot. Mm -hmm. Now we're going to whisk it up. And you need to bring this to a boil. And I would let it cook when it's boiling, but while stirring, about a minute. Yes. And then you can take it away from the heat, let it stand for a little bit, and then it'll be ready to drip, dip your spring roll in. Yum. Yum. All right, so our sauce has been cooking here for a few minutes, and now we're ready to put it in our dish so we can dip away and eat. All right. Yum. There Ooh, we go. Ooh, that looks good. That should be enough so we can share. Yes. All right. Put that right next to our finished spring rolls here, and when you're ready to eat them, you can cut them in half or you can eat them as is, and you can dip them in your sauce, and they're super tasty. Yum. Yum. I can't wait. Indeed. So um, thank you for watching, and I want to give a special thank you to our friend Juar Wang, who gave us some recommendations for our story today and for our recipe. So thank you very much, and we will see you soon. Bye-bye.